bigger the module, the easier it is to produce, or you save some money on the manufacturing costs. But I understand there's an extra 10% on the, the investment tax credit if you can use domestic, full domestic content. So for those that are looking to buy, to buy you know, in significant quantities, what's the best way to do that? Are you selling through distribution? Are you selling direct to contractors? How, how does it work? The smarter way to go solar. Hi everyone, Joe Ordia here for Solar Surge, and today we're coming to you from RE Plus, which is the International Solar Conference here in Anaheim, California. And this morning I'm joined by Devin Wright from Silfab, and we're going to be looking at the new Silfab Utility Scale Solar Module. So Devin, it's good to see you again. Thanks good for joining us. Good to see you us. too, Joe. I appreciate it. All right. Well, tell us about the new utility scale module. I understand we're looking at over 600 watts per panel now. Yeah, okay. exactly. What should so we know? One thing you'll notice, it's absolutely massive. So it's our largest panel ever. But not only that, it's our most efficient product. It's close to 23% efficiency. It's designed for ground mount and utility scale solar, and it's 640 watts. This product will be available in half two of next year. So we're not currently building it, but it's coming soon. And it's got a 30 year warranty. That's one of the things that differentiates our commercial line and utility line from the competitors, as we give a longer warranty with a great degradation rate of a 0.3% annual. Great. Great. Now, I do want to mention something to the audience here because oftentimes we get questions about, well, what's the most powerful solar panel available or why aren't you covering 600, 700 watt solar panels? The reason that we would call this more of a utility scale module is that because of the size and weight of it, it's going to be impractical for a residential installer to carry it up and down a ladder for a roof mount install. But if you're talking about a commercial scale ground mount system, uh, then you can use some of these larger modules, which I, I would assume gets you to a lower price per watt for your overall system, is that correct? Yeah, you're absolutely right. The bigger the module, the easier it is to produce, or you save some money on the manufacturing costs. In addition, it's got a silver frame and a clear back sheet. So for most residential applications, you want like a black on black product for a sexier aesthetic on your roof. But for most of these type of projects, they're not seen. They're either out in a field or on like a commercial rooftop. Exactly, exactly. And so really, you know, getting down to the financial performance, you know, dollars in, dollars out of the investment makes sense. Yeah, absolutely. Now, Devin, I know one thing we want to talk about is Made in USA, and, and, and what, what does Made in USA mean to Silfab? Yeah, so it's complicated because there, there's Assembled in USA, which is what, if you're a manufacturer here, most of us are what we call Assembled in USA, because a lot of the raw materials don't actually come from inside the country. But what Silfab is doing differently is we're opening up a cell manufacturing plant here in the U.S., and that plant will allow us to achieve high domestic content percentages, which will get us closer to the fully made in America product. And that matters more now than ever due to the fact that the IRA has some dollar incentives built in for using domestic content. Right, I understand there's an extra 10% on the, the investment tax credit if you can use domestic, full domestic content. Yeah, right? up to, you need 40% of the materials to be domestically sourced. So you could do that through a combination of some US made racking or US made inverter or a US made panel. Um, and that's one thing that is separating us because we have more, we'll have more supply chain here for the panel than most manufacturers will next year. I think we'll be one of only three that have a cell line here in the U.S. operational in 2025. Makes sense. And I understand you're going to be opening that, that facility in South Carolina, which is where I live, by the way. Nice. Um, so you're going to be manufacturing the individual solar cells, exactly. not, not just the finished module. Exactly. So like right now we have an advanced automated facility where we take all the raw materials and build it. It's, it's really cool to see and it's a complex process, but it's not nearly as complex as actually making the solar cell, which is what we're uh, doing now. Just a quick word from our sponsor, Generac. If you're looking for an all-in-one solar and energy management system, then you need to take a look at the new Generac PowerCell 2. PowerCell 2 gives you total control of your home's energy system, incorporating solar power, whole house backup, intelligent load control, and generator support seamlessly integrated on a single platform. PowerCell 2 uses an AC coupled architecture to facilitate ease of installation for new systems and retrofitting battery storage to existing solar homes. So if you'd like to learn more information, then go to the PowerCell website or click the link in the description below so you can get in touch with an installer right away. Great. Now, Devin, for commercial customers, I, I would imagine they're going to be buying these modules in larger quantities than maybe your residential installer would. For sure. So for those that are looking to buy, uh, to buy you know, in significant quantities, what's the best way to do that? Are you selling through distribution? Are you selling direct to contractors? How, how does it work? Yeah, good question. So most of our product does get sold through distribution. Uh, but with the exception of like utility scale, one of the reasons for that is it's hard for the distributors to 
stock a product that, that's this large, and their trucks also have a trouble getting it to the job site. So this would probably be more a product that we would sell direct to the developer or EPC in like the size of like 20, 30, 50 megawatt quantities, which is you know obviously a lot bigger than just your average homeowner system. Sure. And they have the capability to take it direct rather than going through a distributor. And what's the best way for those kind of customers to get in touch with you? Do they go directly to your website, yeah. or how, how do they get Reach in touch? Reach out to Devin Wright at Silfab Solar. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, well, Devin, anything else that the audience should know about the new Silfab Utility Scale module? I think we covered most of the main points. Uh, if you want to learn more, feel free to follow us on LinkedIn and reach out to our team. But Joe, I think you did a jo good job covering everything. Sounds good. Well, folks, again, this has been an introduction to the new Silfab Utility Scale module. Um, by the way, the reason that we come to RE Plus and we come to these trade shows is to make sure that you guys have the most up-to-date solar technology and product information. So if you are getting good value from the videos, just hit that thumbs up button. Uh, and also hit that subscribe button as well if you haven't done so already. That way, as we have the new videos publishing, it'll come up on your feed so you can stay up to date with everything. But that does it for today's presentation. I thank you all for spending some more time on the Solar Surge channel. And as always, I'm Joe Ordia, encouraging you to get prepared and be empowered. Thanks for watching. We'll see you again soon.